Hi guys, it's um, from mistakes or failures or other things that you actually learn. But it would be more fun if I did not have to make this video. I've already made a comment on Telegram and on Discord about messing, messing up our, thing, our things. And now I have this new ISO builder and I built the ISO of XL, installed it and I updated. I pushed the Arch Linux MESA package and here we are. We have a black screen, we have this line and what do you do? And um, on Discord, on Telegram, I've put an image there. You need to downgrade, right? Anything, this is just about downgrading. Anything that does not work anymore, this is of course critical. It's a black screen, no fun at all. And you need knowledge, right? The Control Alt F2, Control Alt F3, F4, F5, F6, always go to TTY. That's interesting to know. On VirtualBox, I need to know Control F3. And if you can get here, wow, right? That's a gold gift. Otherwise, if you can't get there, it's arch dash shrewd. Lots of videos about that as well. Then you need the Arch Linux ISO. You burn it on a USB and you boot from there. You need to mount certain partitions and off you go. This is still a system where I can log into. So what did I do? I installed the latest version one and then column I think it in English 2332-1 right bad idea so what do you do sudo downgrade you're gonna be sudo for it Mesa then it says okay sure this is the list of all the Mesas I can find so it's a 3.2, that's not good. So this is not good either. It's a 3.1 that I need. Yes, please, that one. I say proceed. So I'm going down one uh, version. And then it says add MESA to the ignore package. In your etcpacman.conf, there is a line. Ignore package X and so on and so on. Yes, please ignore it from now on. So don't update it anymore. And then we should do reboot. And that's how we overcome issues like that. The thing is, of course, this morning, gift from Arch. Why is it crashing? That's always the thing. And one of the things is certainly valid. That's what did you install last? What were the last things you did? The last thing I did was install MESA. So what did I do to overcome issues for other users who might get the same result? That is, yay MESA. We've put the MESA version that's working on our repo. So the system thinks you're up to date. And why does it think that? Because we've put Arclinx first. All right. So we can still update, we can still work. These three go first. So we told them, never mind the new version. We stick for the time being to this version. So this one is installed. As you can see, I can boot and we can continue working. I will hear about Arch changing MESA and there will be a new MESA coming along and then the old one from Arclinx repo can go and we update and getting the new guy from MESA for March itself. All right, so that's how we have done it now for the time being, but maybe you see this black screen as well. Now you know pseudo downgrade MESA, it's a great tick, trick, and you can downgrade anything, right? Downgrade whatever. Linux, for instance, Linux kernel. Sometimes user get in problems with a Linux update. You go down the list, this or the number of the devil, 666, right? You're attached to it. I want to have that one. Okay, well, there you are. Pseudo downgrade, add it to, add to ignore package. Remember the Linux headers as well, and maybe any relevant 
packages. All right. For the time being, that's what we'll do. Keep Mesa the way it is and until we get a better update. Cheers.